What's going on guys? It's your boy Bolt Ratty here and uh, today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on masking transitions. Uh, a little update on my channel before I get started. Uh, I'm going to bring you guys an edit or a tutorial every day uh, because I'm trying to head off for a machinima partnership on this channel to help me out and stuff. Uh, so I know stuff about editing but some, I get messages on YouTube every day on how to do this certain effect, how to do this effect. So I'm going to do my best to bring you tutorials on stuff that I know that can help you. And it's really uh, simple tutorials. And then I'll move into advanced tutorials sometimes. And then I'll go back to simple. You know, I might be back and forth. But anyways, as I said before, we're going to be doing some masking transitions. Uh, really useful transitions uh, if you want to do for montages so basically what you want to do is import two different clips and uh, I'm just gonna split these clips to where I want them of my liking okay about right here and then go to where I want the transition to start So I'm just going to cut that down. All right. So basically what you want to do is go to the start of your uh, second clip and you want to go over to this preview thing, preview tab and hit full. What that does is basically put your thing in like full, uh, full picture when you take the snapshot. So you want to click this icon and save your snapshot. You want to right click and insert a video track. So you want to put this picture over towards the end of your uh, first clip. So I'll just stretch that out there. And uh, as you can see right here, there's a little bit of uh, brightness going on or a contrast. So I don't know why Sony Vegas does it, but you just wanna go in. I have a, whoops. I have a preset on brightness and contrast called mask. You can copy these settings down. Uh, these settings were from uh, one of Dare's editors, Dare Zebo, a good friend of mine. So. Uh, you can just basically copy these down. Brightness is 0.03, contrast is 0.05, and contrast center is 0.50. Doesn't do much, but it's better, a little bit better. All right, so basically what you want to do is go into uh, here, and you, you'll be on this position tab when you go in. You want to click down to this mask and enable, and you want to make sure the anchor creation tools check marked or you can just press I mean uh, clicked or you can just press D on your keyboard what you want to do is basically just click where you want the first mask so I'm just gonna do a little messy one considering the fact that this is just a tutorial but if you're doing a episode of some kind you want to uh, make the mask really good or at least halfway decent and then when you're done with the mask, you want to go back to the starting point and just connect it to that. <clears throat> All right, so now you want to copy this layer, insert a new video track, uh, drag this video track down by clicking it or hold and click and then drag it down. And you just want to paste. Now, as you can see right here, if I change the opacity, this bottom clip is still there. It's the same exact thing. So what you want to go do is click the event pan crop button and go to mode on the mask tab and hit negative. Whoop, negative. And basically what that does is uh, changes uh, the back to the non-masked part. So you can do a really good transition. So now we're going to do the transition. So basically I'm just going to drag this in. And right here, I'm going to do transitions and do push. You can go through here. These are all really nice transitions. Also, I have a, more transitions than uh, when you download Vegas because uh, I have plugins for this, and they're called New Blue. If you want, if you want uh, this plugin, just message me, and I'll hook you up. So I'm going to do push up. Basically, what this does is just... Uh, push push this up basically as it sounds so then what I'm gonna do for the background one because as you see it just come it just pops in so what I'm gonna do is use 3d blinds it's a really cool effect to use so 
then as you can see, my computer isn't that fast because I only have five gigabytes of RAM. But if you uh, if you just preview it through while you edit, it's really nice. It just goes in, and then as it ends, your clip will start like this. And as you progress through, uh, you could do you can do more screen captures, more masking, and do some more advanced transitions with this, but this is basically just a simple outline of what you can do with masking transitions. It's a really good effect to use. Uh, a lot of people asked me to help them out with this, so I did the best I can. If you need more help on it, uh, feel free to send me a message on YouTube and uh, ask for my Skype, because I'm on Skype pretty much all day. So just uh, message me, and uh, if I'm not on my computer, I'll have Skype on my uh, iPod, so I'll answer you there. But yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, in the description below, you'll find you'll find this clip, uh, this transition. So you can go ahead and uh, click that and see how it is. It'll be an unlisted link. So thanks for watching, guys.